My bread and butter, these I get for free. I don't drink soda, and yeah, go frugal. I know you're out there. I do, uh, if I see a good soda can, I have uh, rubber gloves and I have a little gripper. I have no problems going in a trash can. And uh, look at that beautiful blue pool tab. So uh, what better way is it to sell some nice little jewelry and you get most of your parts except for your jump ring and your fish hooks for free. All right. there ma terry here and boy did i get a great customer comment and it was about selling the artwork it, it was uh, my first video in the series and uh I, it's such a great comment i have to answer it and that's the kind of discourse that i want to enter in with you guys all right so who wrote the comment and look for it it's there it's uh been about four or five days ago all right so it's from johnny robinson on snj radio and uh, he broadcasts from san bernardino funny I wrote in my notes San Diego um, believe it or not because this is business I can't really write notes I have it all up in my head so um, he you know a lot of artists are concerned about some mathematical formula and for his type of business it really works um, it makes so much sense I mean he does one thing he uh, he is a DJ you know he may do a lot more other things but it's not as varied as what I do and uh, it's a great answer so if you want to learn something about pricing your artwork that's an excellent place to start all right so i remember in the video i hung up my little kinetic earrings and i said i sit on the sofa watch tv and i can make two pairs in uh one hour and uh you know all right let me uh break it down so i can do two pairs in one hour but you know i only sell them for 25 dollars a pair total not profit is $50. So I'm only profiting $50 an hour. All right. So there's a certain thing. What will the market bear? All right. If I, and I sell these in, uh, believe it or not, hair salons, galleries, and stuff like that. So what will the market bear? If I put on here $75, um, <laughs> the list of people that uh, not only can afford it, but will pay $75 for this goes way down. So I know what the market will bear. Um, how much do my supplies cost? Well, during Labor Day, I get the little butterflies. See the little butterflies over at Joanne Fabrics. And uh, Labor Day, they had to sell seven strands of bead for $10. You can't go wrong with that. So that's when I go and I scoop everything up. I don't go there when they have buy one, get one 50% off. Oh, no, no, no. I'm a professional person. Okay. So, um, so that's part of the pricing uh, thing. How much do my supplies cost? And the other thing is, is am I the manufacturer, retailer, or both? And uh, first of all, I want to say uh, ear these earrings and the earrings I'm going to show you, they're not my bread and butter. And bread and butter is uh, basically what sells down hand first and that's my uh, soda can earrings which we'll get into in a week I'll be bringing them down from the storage unit uh, remember send mail <laughs> I'm going up to uh, get my mail and everything in a week all right so I'm going to show you two different earrings this one are my butterfly earrings and I basically sell them for about $25 a pair now then this is a quick little earring come on look at the camera Ooh, nice and shiny, nice and shiny. All right. This I can get away with about $6.95, $7.95 a pair. And uh, one of my other favorite things, I'm working on Halloween earrings, not done. Uh, this takes me less than a minute, and this is just a safety pin. Uh, I'm working on things for Halloween. And uh, I get these little black safety pins over at a Walmart in the craft section. It's a lot of fun. All right, so let's compare my two different types of earrings. Let's compare this one for sales and this one for sales. All right, so the butterfly may cost me up to $2 to make. Um, my time is about 30 minutes into it. All right, but okay, we have manufacturer, I have to make it all, and then we have the uh, salesperson, do I have to sell this? No, I just give a bag of these to uh, my girlfriends and whether they own a hair salon, a gift shop, a gallery, 
they do it all. They, they display it for me. They do all the work. But I have to pay a commission of 20%. And 20% 20 of uh, $25 is uh, $5. So I look at, for each one I make, it's $18 profit times two per hour. That's $36. And I only do this when I'm bored watching TV. All right, so, you know, you're saying, oh, $36, that's not good. All right, so I already talked about selling these for $6.95, $7.95. See how shiny that is? Let me give you another example right here. These are really good sellers. All right, so how long does it take me to make these earrings? You know, less than a minute. Yes, I can make these in less than a minute. Now, true, originally I did have to find a source for all my parts, but now, you know, just like this morning, I said, ooh, I want to make some more of these, and I just hit the reorder button, reorder button, reorder button. All right, so this flower uh, cost me uh, each one to make, 50 cents. That's what my parts price is. And what this is, the reason why people love these is, believe it or not, this is eggshells and leftover nail polish. So, and you can get leftover nail polish. Just go to the uh, nail salons. The, the stuff they can't use, they'll give you. Uh, not uh, Goodwill, but a lot of thrift stores, they have leftover nail polish. So, it takes me uh, less than a minute to make each pair. Um, believe it or not, they come fully assembled. All I have to do is fill in the bezel and I, uh, you know, put in my little eggshells, put a little nail polish on top. It's done. And, uh, the biggest thing is it has to wait 24 hours to dry. All right. Where, but the thing is, okay, I just manufactured it. Now I have to bring it to craft fairs and craft fairs take up my time. So, you know, a lot of people, if you go by the butterfly demonstration, all right, you should be making $60 an hour a um, dollar a minute, great, um, people won't buy this. But if you uh, use the logic and say, well, you need to make a buck a minute and I can make 60 pairs an hour, should I only sell this for a dollar or should I do what the market will bear? $5.95, $6.95, $7.95. See, for me, it's an average and how much work I really have to put into it. Now, and some will say, oh, you got to man the booth at the craft fair. Yes, I do, but manning the booth at the craft fair is an excellent way for me to uh, do a sign-up list for an email to let them know where I'm going to be at. Um, I also advertise uh, my business, you know, postcards from Terry, you know, on YouTube. Um, so it, it's an excellent way to, you know, once you have a customer, they're easy to keep. They will keep buying from you over and over again. So yeah, craft fairs take a long time, uh, but it's more of a personal connection. Um... So I went over everything. Um, please, please write in the comments below if you have any questions or anything. I love this. I love this discussion. I love helping you uh, make jewelry. And uh, as soon as I have my soda can stuff down here, we will start working on that. Uh, if you uh, want to do soda can jewelry with me, uh, start collecting cans and save the pop tops. Um, in one of the videos, I show a cute little flower, but the thing that the earring hangs from, is the pop top and people, you know, if they love like their monster energy drinks or their Coca-Cola people, they go crazy for this sort of stuff. All right. So I'm going to say goodbye for now and I will see you all down the road and happy crap.